So this article is from trekmovie.com and it's an interview with Alex Kurtzman about fan feedback and the legacy of Star Trek Discovery. And in the second paragraph it reads, With it all coming to an end, what do you think or hope will be the enduring legacy of Discovery for the franchise? (laughs) Where does one start with that one? But let's read Kurtzman's reply here. He says, I think there are two things. First, there would be no modern age of Star Trek without Discovery. Whether you loved it or hated it, it kicked open the door for more Star Trek. The idea was never to make one show that pleased everybody. It was to make a lot of shows that please individual segments of the fandom. Because, as everyone knows, there is no one-size-fits-all with Star Trek fans. So, I think the key for us was... I didn't set out to build the Star Trek universe when we did Discovery, but that is, in fact, what happened. And I'm really, really proud of that. And I think fans will see that there wouldn't be what exists now without it. The other thing is, obviously, Gene Roddenberry had an extraordinary track record for representation on screen, and the original series set the bar. And I think we quadrupled down on it with this show. I believe we're living very much in his shadow. Hopefully, he'd be proud of it. Okay, what? <laughs> so let's, let's go through this again. Firstly, he says, there would be no modern age of Star Trek without Discovery. He says it kicked open the door for more Star Trek. But are we seriously suggesting here that there was no interest in any new Star Trek series until Discovery came along? Of course there was. Let's look at Star Trek Picard. I mean, sure, its first two seasons were bad, but the show didn't need Discovery in order to exist. I mean, let's imagine in an alternate universe where Discovery was never made. Wouldn't that be a better world to live in? Star Trek Picard was announced in 2018. The first season came out in 2020. What exactly would have been stopping Paramount from announcing Star Trek Picard in 2018? I don't think... Star Trek Discovery had to exist in order for Picard to exist, right? There's a massive pre-existing audience of Star Trek fans who loved the character of Jean-Luc Picard, who loved The Next Generation. They would have been delighted to see a Picard series. They didn't need Discovery to reignite their interest in Star Trek, an interest, a passion that was already there. Moreover, the writing and tone in Star Trek Discovery is just awful in my opinion. Right, I had very low expectations for Star Trek Picard Season 1 as a result. And I couldn't believe that Season 1 of Picard was actually worse than I expected it to be. I knew Picard was going to be bad because many of the same people behind Discovery were also working on Picard. Now he goes on to say, I didn't set out to build the Star Trek universe when we did Discovery. But that is, in fact, what happened. Again, what are you talking about? Star Trek was already a TV universe in the 1990s. From 1993 till 1999, there were two television shows on the air at the same time, and simultaneously, Next Generation films were coming out every two years. As for representation on screen, well, I wholeheartedly agree with that one. You certainly quadrupled down on it. You know, I will never forget this scene from Discovery's third season, episode five, called die trying when they visit the Federation headquarters in the future. The scene is unbelievably cringe in a way that only Discovery can be cringe. But you can see this wide shot of the bridge. There's 15 people visible. 10 of them are women. So I think they certainly took the representation thing in the extreme opposite direction. Now, he also says it was to make a lot of shows that please individual segments of the fandom because, as everyone knows, there is no one-size-fits-all with Star Trek fans. I don't think there's one size fits all with any fandom. But what I will say is, I really wanted to like Discovery when it came out, but I just couldn't. And I I still can't. It didn't feel like Star Trek to me. I didn't like the characters. I didn't like the tone or the quality of the writing. I acknowledge that Discovery has an audience. And there's people who love this show. Fair enough. And sure, there was people who loved The Next Generation back in the day who didn't like DS9 or they couldn't get into Voyager or Enterprise when they came out later on. But for the most part, you can clearly get a sense from watching those shows. They all felt like Star Trek. And they attracted most of the same type of audience. But when Discovery came out, 
a huge heap of fans who liked those older shows just didn't take to it. Sure, you can't please the entire fan base, but you know, you can certainly try to please as many fans as possible by giving the people what they really want. And at this stage of Star Trek's long history, with decades of TV series produced, it shouldn't be that difficult to identify the key ingredients, right? To identify what works for most of the fan base and then attempt to replicate that in a new show. It doesn't feel like that's what was done with Discovery. It feels like the people in charge decided to make a space-based sci-fi show for a modern audience uh, with the Star Trek name and with many of the superficial elements and appearances of Star Trek, but without any of the heart, soul, and indeed intelligence of the franchise. I believe the legacy of Star Trek Discovery is that it was the first really bad Star Trek TV series with few redeeming qualities. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe, hit that like button and share this video. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.